Welcome to Behind the Music, and thanks for being a part of our family here at Victory. Whether you like us on Facebook or Instagram or follow us or subscribe or receive the Daily Hope text, we're just so glad that you're a part of the ministry that we have here at Victory. It's always a pleasure for me to get to join you, and today you'll see I'm at the piano. This week, we are honoring Pastor Larry and Judy Kassebaum. They have served here at Victory for 24 years, and now Pastor Larry is retiring. And this weekend, for our service, we are doing a whole service with things that they love, their favorite scriptures, favorite hymns, favorite songs. And the anthem that the choir is singing is perhaps Pastor Larry's favorite choir anthem. It's called Bound for Greater Things. Let me read the text for you. We are bound for greater things, bound to walk a higher road, drawn by dreams and led by visions. We will know the grace of God. We will leave the past behind. We will fly with eagle's wings. We will run the race before us. We are bound for greater things. This song was written by the American singer and songwriter Ken Miedema. Ken was born blind and he could only see shadows, light and dark. And from an early age, music was very important to him. He started playing the piano when he was only five, and a few years after that, he started taking lessons. Through the magic of Braille music, he was able to learn classical repertoire, but he also spent a lot of time practicing playing by ear and improvising. That was something that came naturally and also a skill that he practiced and fostered. When he went to college in Michigan, he majored in music therapy because he knew that he wanted to help other people through this gift of music that had helped him in his life. He also discovered that it was a way for him to share his Christian walk. He started writing songs based on his love of God, things that were happening in the church, religious type things, and he started touring. Pastor Larry has a fond memory of when Ken Miedema came to his church in Nebraska. He sat and listened for the sermon, and then afterwards, he improvised a song based on what he had learned that day. And Pastor Larry still talks about when he heard that. So this is something that's very important to Pastor Larry, and we're glad that the choir at Victory is going to be able to share it for you this week. I'm at the piano today, as you probably noticed, because Ken was and is a pianist, and the song that we're doing is better suited for the piano than for the organ. One of the major differences between the organ and the piano is that with an organ, if you want the sound to continue, you have to keep your hands on the keys. As soon as you release, the sound disappears. On the piano, we have a pedal called the sustain pedal. It's the right pedal. If I hold it down and play the same chord, I can now remove my hands, but the sound continues. The sustain pedal has lifted up the dampers off of the strings. The strings continue to sound until I take my foot off of the pedal. When I was in college, my piano professor said to me, Kristen, what part of your body do you pedal with? Me being the smart person that I am, raised my eyebrows and said, my foot. And Dr. Ashton said, no, very graciously, no, you pedal with your ear. And he's right. If I wasn't listening when I pedal, I could, I could keep it down. All those notes could run together and it just would sound disastrous. So you do have to think about what chords so they all fit together. Change the pedal and change the pedal again. So things are not always what they seem, right? I was stating the obvious, of course it's my foot that's controlling the pedal, but really it's my ear that's having to think about when to control that. And this song is sort of about that too. It's easy for us to want to just cling to what we know, what's safe, what's right now, but we have to have faith in God. We're bound for greater things, right? We don't have to just cling to what is right here in front of us. We have to have these dreams. We have to have these visions. That's something that Pastor Larry's been very good about talking about during his time here. I've had the privilege of working with him for eight years, and we've had a lot of talks about vision. We had a 2020 vision. Where do we see victory being, you know, the next phase, the next phase? Even as he's coming up to retirement, he's thinking about what's next. This is not the end, right? We have hope of a better future. So this weekend, I hope you'll think about following those dreams, praying for those visions so that you have, you know, an idea 
of the greater things that we're bound for. And I hope that you'll tune in as we live stream Sunday at 9.30 and listen to our choir sing this anthem for you.